Hello and welcome to the Lord of the Rings strategy battle game vlog of the world campaign that uh, me and my friends have developed. Basically um, what we are doing here is you've got the Lord of the Rings strategy battle game rules and uh, we decided to take it one step further um, instead of just grabbing points building your armies and doing skirmishes we thought it'd be really cool if we had like an ongoing world campaign so what we did was we wrote up some rules I got a uh, magnetic whiteboard here uh, that we're using magnets this is kind of a uh, drawing of the map of Middle Earth here sorry about the shakiness of the camera here but uh, that's what that is there uh, you see, if you're getting closer, you can see that uh, we've made magnets, um, little markers that are representing the uh, little territories here. So this is like a Moria territory marker here. So that signifies that uh, this area here is owned by Moria. Uh, these larger markers are the armies that Moria has. So um, we wrote up rules so that each nation has basically two armies to begin the campaign with. Um, so what I've decided to do is we're going to... Uh, vlog our world campaign. Um, what I'll do is I'll probably post the highlights of each turn that we do along with um, highlighting probably a battle, like a battle report in each round just to focus in on maybe one of the major battles. Um, I did take the liberty on this map for balance. Um, I put Lothlorien here. Um, I know it's usually it's closer down here but for balance and distance on the map I put a little closer um, to Rivendell so that uh, the elves have a have a balance up here um, so we had to tweak the map a little bit so we've got basically eight nations you can play uh, the campaign we're gonna start we're gonna have four players each player is gonna control two nations so you've got um, nations here of uh, Mordor, Gondor, Isengard, Rohan, Misty Mountains, Witcher, Moria um, then you've got the Elven Kingdoms, the Fallen Realms, and the Dwarven Holds. So the Fallen Realms is basically the Haradrim and the Easterlings. Um, I know some of the Haradrim are up up, uh, up to the north of Mordor, or, um, actually the Easterlings, I believe. Um, but I put them down in the south, again, for map balance. So you'll see each nation has um, basically a capital, which is worth 80 points. And then they'll have a secondary fortress, which is like worth 40 points. Um, so you'll see the elves have Rivendell and, and Lorien. Moria has Moria and uh, Murkwood. Isengard has Fangorn and Isengard. Rohan has Helm's Deep and Edoras. Um, then you have Minas Tirith that has, of course, Minas Tirith and Askilith. Um, Mordor has Sir Thungol and Baradur. The Lonely Mountain for the Dwarves and the Iron Hills. And of course, we've got uh, down here, we've got, I think it's Hardawaith and um, uh, Harn, what is it, Harnador. So those are basically the, the capitals and the secondary fortresses. You see, each nation has a point value to it. And basically, what that is, is that's a, an accumulation of every territory that they own when you add them all up together. That's what your points are. So, how the game works is you start off with a set amount of points, 150 across the board. Um, it's sort of, we're starting a new game. And each round, as you move your armies across the map and take uh, territories, you can see the territories are worth like 15 points for the, the non capitals or the non um, fortress. Um, they're worth 15. So as you conquer more areas, your point values go up. Um, and then each turn, at the beginning of each turn, you get that many points to spend to add to your armies. So your armies will grow and evolve and adapt as they move around the board. Um, so basically what we do is you have, we're going to start the campaign with 400 points to begin to build your armies with. And then the first turn you'll get 150. So you have basically 550 points to divide between two, two armies. And uh, then you can start moving them around the board. And what you do is you basically take those points and you will build your army um, using the strategy battle game um, forces books. So Kingdoms of Men, for example, has Gondor and uh, Rohan in it. So when you're building Gondor, you can basically buy anybody out of the Gondor section um, in the book. So you can see here, you've got several characters that you can pick from, from Gondor heroes. And then, of course, you'll have your standard troops 
Um, so like your Citadel Guard and your Garden of the Fountain Court and um, you know Osculia Fetra and all that stuff. So you have all those to select from um, when you're building your army. And then, um, like I said, you move your armies and then we'll have battles. So whenever two armies, for example, let's say that Aomir is here and Lurtz has moved in here, um, on, on any turn where one army attacks another or moves into an area where another, then you'll take basically the stat sheets on these armies that you're keeping track of with your points here, um, and then we'll bring them upstairs and play out the battle. So we'll, you basically have two phases of the game. Um, these, of course, are little extra territory markers that I made, um, along with little arrows to uh, signify when your army is like, for example, this army is going to move here for this turn. So we'll basically do that battle, and once we know how that resolves, we remove the marker and either this uh, army moves in here and this army has to retreat, or if it's, you know, if Aomir fails, then he has to withdraw. So that's how that works. So once we have all the, the battles moved out, then we go upstairs. I'm gonna run upstairs real quick, just kind of show you. Um, oh, before I do, I apologize. Um, I have got basically troops for all of the nations. So I've got basically all the heroes and uh, the basic units and stuff for, um, uh, that's a minus tier there. Up top here, I don't know if you can see them, they've got, we've got a bunch of dwarves. Um, and then the fiefdoms back there, so some Ents and some Great Eagles, you can see them back there. And then all the Dwarven heroes down here, um, more men, we've got, these are the Elves. So you've got, um, you know, your your, uh, your Lorian archers, Galadrim archers, Galadrim knights back there, um, and some more Wood Elves. And down here we've got Rohan here. So we've got um, a bunch of the Rohirrim there on horseback and some uh, foot soldiers and then the Rohan heroes. And there's a little siege tower there. So when we do siege battles like uh, fortresses, you can buy siege equipment. Um, so we'll do sieges and stuff. There's a Helm's Deep wall back there. Um, then over here we've of course got Moria up here. Um, so all the goblins and the goblin heroes, and then we've got Mordor here. You've got your orcs and your catapults. There's some Nazgul on uh, on uh, fell beasts and the orc heroes back there. And we've got the fallen realms, which are the Easterlings, the um, the Haradrim there. So we've got some bowmen and some spearmen and uh, all the Easterling heroes. And then down here we've got Isengard. So you've got the Isengard heroes down here along with a bunch of Isengard, uh, some Isengard trolls, Ballista, some war riders, various berserkers, there's some uh, crossbowmen. And then we've got down here, I'm working on painting some of these castles. They're basically Warhammer castles that I'm painting, uh, kind of that greenish glowish evil. Um, so just for some evil fortresses. So I'm kind of primed those black, but I'm working on getting them green there. So we'll run upstairs. I I understand that they're most of them are not painted. I just started getting into the game um, a little over a year ago, so I've been basically just buying guys first. I have painted some. I've got a few painted up here. So um, this is where we'll do our battles. Um, I've got enough room up here to set up um, several tables. So. Um, if we had a full complement of eight players, we could do four tables with you know eight uh, eight bat or four battles going on at the same time. So um, yeah, we've got a secondary battle. We're gonna have four players, so we'll have two tables set up. Um, this is for Keith, real quick. Keith always wanted to come by and check it out, but I got some Lord of the Rings stuff here. I got some swords and the. Um, movie posters are framed, and then. I got some of the statues, some of those Weta statues, so I got a Ring Wraith and Gandalf and Aragorn and there's a fell beast there. Got some more over here real quick. Um, apologize for the glare, but we've got uh, a cave troll, or not a cave troll, a troll chieftain and Gothmog and there's Shelob and there's the Witch King down there. Um, We'll jump over here real quick. I got some of the Vanderstelt pictures here. Sorry for the glare again. I apologize. Um, so there's some cool Vanderstelt art there, and then 
course we got the Barog here and there's a Fell Beast and Boromir, it's the main. And we got Captain the White Tower Boromir there. He's really cool. Um, Aragorn is the king and then the king of the dead down there. So got some cool atmospheric things for Lord of the Rings. So basically, yeah, when, when we're done with the uh, world campaign part, the, uh, the strategy battle map, then we'll come up here and we'll actually fight out the uh, battles. So you can see I got some of these guys that I've already painted up out here just to kind of give you an idea. So this should be really cool. Like we've got uh, we got these guys here from Gondor about to get smoked by the Barog, and then of course we got the Nazgul up on the hill there with some Urukai next to them. Um, we'll zoom in a little bit here. You can see some of those Urukai. There's a Nazgul there. Snag this Balrog real quick. He's getting ready to trounce at night. Um, here we've got a Ruins of Osgiliath here, and we've got the Watcher in the Water is about to tear those guys up. Um, some more dudes up on the wall there, trying to get out of the reach of this guy who means business. Um, yeah, when I built him, his tentacles kept dragging on the uh, on his base, so I got a little styrofoam and put it underneath, painted it like a rock, and stuck him on top of the styrofoam. So it's almost like he's on kind of like a rocky ledge of a island out in the middle of the lake there. Put a couple of rocks next to him. There's a dead dwarf he's stepping on. So um, then I got this guy over here. Um, then of course we've got some. Some more guys here from Moor Gondor fighting a troll chieftain. So the chieftain's going to destroy those guys, but never fear because the man is here. So I'm thinking what will happen here is Baromir will smoke this cave troll and call it heroic and move in behind the cave troll or the chieftain and trap him and spend all his might and just destroy that guy so uh, some hills and stuff that I made so so for those that are disappointed in my lack of painting I am getting to them um, this is just some of the ones that I've painted already so hopefully as these go on month to month um, the painting will continue and we'll have more and more characters that are be fully painted um, so yeah, I like this one here. It's, well, it's a little fuzzy. Let's see if we can get it. Well, well, my camera's not that good. So, but that's Boromir with his banner of Minas Tirith. Um, so, anyways, yeah, what we'll, what we'll plan on doing is um, we'll get together on a, one Sunday a month. And we will record our battles. Um, so definitely stay tuned, tune in. Um, give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Um, like I said, this is something that you know we'll do once a month, one Sunday a month. We'll post it. Um, I'll post a, a new battle each month where we'll update the turn, and then we'll also update. Uh, you know, maybe um, show w one of the major battles of that turn, and we'll, we'll just have them record it. So. Um, anyways, just go ahead and, uh, like I said, leave comments below and uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this uh, world campaign. And uh, um, my ultimate goal, would I'd love to get more players. Um, I live in uh, Colorado, basically near Denver. Um, we have four dedicated players, so there will be four of us playing two nations apiece. Um, I think it would be really cool if we had eight players um, and, you know, eight different eight different players and, and um you know, four battles going on at once would be really cool. Um, I could also expand to um, and add. Uh, uh, I've kind of uh, Angmar's not really in this yet, and neither are the fiefdoms. So I could expand it and add Angmar and, and put in the Shire and the fiefdoms and some of that stuff, and actually have ten players if I wanted to. So if we had the interest. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop here because it's 15 minutes. That's plenty of time. So. Uh, look for the next posts here on round one.
and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.